T-Man 978 Chill Review. Alright, so I reviewed this whole Venom wave or Venom pool build a figure wave. I'm including Venom because he was released at the same time, but okay. technically separate. But you know, they wanted him, they meant for him to be part of this wave, but people have been wanting this particular version of Venom for, the, for a long time. So they decided to sell him in his own case with his own identification number. So that is awesome. But anywho, my ranking. Uh, I think I'm gonna. Uh, I think I like Carnage the most out of all of these. Next is gonna be Venom. Then Feige. Then Miles. Then Morbius. And then Ghost Spider. Ghost Spider, her, she's a female Marvel legend. Articulation is lacking definitely in the ab area, and that hinders things greatly when trying to get a pose. Her legs are awesomely poseable, just like Miles, but just the, the lack of, or the limited torso and the limited neck because of the hood and that little ball joint in the, in the neck, it definitely limits things in and makes her not as fun as the rest of the figure so yeah but let's get on to the build a figure and shockingly then th this is rare for me typically the build a figure is a nice little added bonus that you get from buying all this stuff but in this case he is overall my favorite thing out of all of these it's heavy it is definitely substantial as far as the pieces on his body the sculpting Sculpting is just nuts. The, it comes with a couple of access, well, four accessories technically. He has optional hands for holding these two swords, which are accessories. Down here, you have these chains that are separate pieces on the ankles and on the wrist. Each one of these, you see the sculpting? Each one of these is different. No two are the exact same piece. Like if I turn this this way, you have this sculpting right there. Even though these two chains are going the same direction, they're not exactly the same. And this isn't exactly the same. So each one of them is definitely different from what I can tell. Unless one of these down here is not this different. You have this pouch, which is like a separate piece right there. And I love the sculpting in his outfit. It looks like the movie Deadpool morphed into this, to be honest, because of the texture of the outfit. And I love the stitching right there, holding the patches on to like the Venom, Venom symbiote body. That's the main thing I like the face the texture I just can't believe the texture that they're able to do they put a lot of money into this right here and I think because of that the individual figures suffered as far as optional accessories but I'll allow it none of them are that bad without extra accessories he does come with a swap out head and Phage does has, have this weapon right there well, that's good enough. Of course, this piece is separate. The sword scabbard comes separate. You have to, like, snap it on. And, yeah, let me get into the articulation and then come back with the accessories. Probably saw me doing this, but the head does swivel. What made that happen is the jaw. When I turned it around too far, the jaw pushed it off of the neck joint. But you can look up. Let me straighten his, his back here straight. So you can look all the way up. You can look down. And pivot a little bit. Shoulders go out decently. Of course, they rotate. No butterfly or anything. He has the bicep swivel. Just a single hand 
elbow that goes that far up, comes that far down. All the hand, hands, no, the other ones are different from this. These swivel and these go in and out like that. The ab crunch, substantial for something big and hulking like this. Goes back, do you get a waist rotation? And the paint is just nice on this. Legs go up that far. Kick forward. Kick back. Swivel. Double hinge knee. And some of these joints are very hard to move. So. And the foot can kick back. Kick forward. And you get ankle pivot. There's no boot swivel or anything like that. These hands are not that super pliable, so getting them off yeah, is difficult. And these can't pop off if you absolutely don't want those. But these, you see this little tiny nub? These are harder to get out. I had to take them out before I started filming. Now the articulation in these, they go up and down and that joint is tight but I like the way they're sculpted because even though they're for holding the swords you can use them as just regular fist you see how it's molded right there McFarlane should do this for their sword holding characters instead of giving them trigger fingers just shape the hand like this I mean, you see it from this way but that is really good for giving him fisted hands because you can still get into a pose like this and you can't really tell but swords come out they're sculpted like this they're big and thick they're almost like meat cleavers they're not even swords anymore they're hulking and here he is wielding these and I love it. I don't see me putting this up for a while. A lot of my Marvel Legends I mess with and then eventually they get put away since I don't really have a display for them yet. But um, I like just standing him here really just like that. But yeah. Let me make sure I let you see the detail on some of this stuff. I went into the textures of the suit, but not the details on some of this stuff down here. Like you see this on his back, the vertebrae, but yeah. Awesome weave. Only two figures that are iffy. Maybe three of you absolutely don't like Morbius. But, um, Venom is totally optional, but he's not optional. I like him. I definitely like the Builder figure, so definitely worth it. Target was doing a buy one, get one, buy two, get one free. So if you didn't see a ton of these figures on the shelf. You should have at least seen Miles and Ghost Spider. You could have bought any other type of Marvel Legend. So yeah. And on they were available, most of them, on a the website as well. So these things should be easy to acquire. You technically only need to buy five to get the Venom pool. So that's cool. And to let you see, he is slightly taller than Venom. Well, yeah, I'm happy about all this stuff right here. Thank y'all for watching. Until next time, T-Man 978, out of here. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos, click, click the videos, click those f***ing videos, baby, click, click the videos, you really should click those videos, click that shit.